Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and Apple has just released two major updates to their software currently in beta. So we have the third beta of iOS 18.1 and we have the eighth beta of iOS 18.0, which is very likely the last beta to this update. So let's get started with the first one. iOS 18.1 comes in the third beta and the size of this update is around 900 megabytes. Of course, it will be different based on which current software you're at on your device and which in which device, of course, you're installing iOS 18.1 beta 3, even though currently you can install it only on the iPhone 15 Pro and the 15 Pro Max, and of course, the M1 and later iPads. So the build number for this update right here, Let's go ahead and take a look at this. So we have a build number of 22B5034E, which of course indicates that we will have a few more betas, probably another four betas or maybe even five before iOS 18.1 gets released to the public. So what's new with this update? Now, first of all, whenever you install this update on your device, you will see a new setup on the screen of your iPhone taking you through a few different steps, basically explaining Apple intelligence. And then we have a new feature for, notif for notifications. We have here summarize previews, which you can enable from here. And it basically lets you summarize the previews of notifications. Now this, as you can see right here, will work with all apps, whether you have stock apps of iOS, like the phone, messages or mail, or things like Instagram, Facebook, or other third-party apps, you can enable now summarized notifications for these apps. They will have the option here to switch on and on summarized notifications for every app individually, so you don't have to have them enabled for all of the apps. You can just pick here which apps you want to have summarized notifications from. Now this right here is the big feature of iOS 18.1 with beta 3 and it is an amazing feature and as you know when Apple does things they really do them well. This is actually a game changer for iOS and it will probably put a lot of apps out of business. So the cleanup feature is finally here. You tap the edit button right there. The first time you do this, it will download some stuff that they will need for the cleanup feature to work. And then you will have the cleanup tab right there. Now what you can do right here, you just go ahead and highlight things and it will remove them from the picture. Now, as you can see right there, it will highlight things automatically, but you can also do them manually. You can just scrub right there on an object and it will actually remove it. Or you can even circle an object and it will remove that object for you. So just like that, it will highlight the object and you can see how good of a job it does. Now, as you can see right here, it has left some marks right there. We can go ahead and again, scrub or just again go ahead and circle that it will do its job again and you can see how good of a result we have right here it is actually pretty amazing and even though it's the first time they have released this on beta 3 and we have probably more than a month until this feature goes out to the public it still works pretty well and it will of course be improved even more with the next few betas now what's really cool about this is that even when you're on a picture where you have like a subject or like the person you want to hide their face you can again go to clean tab right here you can just highlight or circle that and as you can see it will pixelate right there which is really cool they will also have the feedback buttons right there which will let you give a feedback on how the cleanup tool is actually working for you and the third party stickers now are working as they should so as you probably know you can use them in line with other like different emojis that you have on your device and the emojis here you know that they have reset it a lot for a lot of users they have been fixed now and they seem to work as they should on ios 18.1 beta 3 but as you can see right here you're you're able to now use third party stickers in line with the emojis now this is not a new feature but it wasn't working properly and it looks like they 
finally have a fix for it with a third beta of iOS 18.1. There's also a smaller change here on the music app. When you go in and out of the albums, you will have now a different animation than you will have on iOS 18.0. Unfortunately, Apple hasn't added this animation to the iOS 18.0 beta 3 update, but it's here with iOS 18.1 and it's pretty cool. And we also have the new view for the albums right here with the third beta. Now this was on beta 7 of iOS 18.0 and now they have also added it to iOS 18.1 beta 3. And now let's take a quick look here at the performance for iOS 18.1 beta 3. As you can see, the single core score is a 2838, a very slight improvement from iOS 18.1 beta 2 at 2833. While we have a much better improvement right here on the multi-core score, so 7017 right there with the third beta, the second beta was at 6913. So it's looking like, of course, Apple is improving iOS 18.1 beta by beta, and it actually seems pretty solid. It works actually quite smooth. Now, as for the fourth beta, I would expect Apple to go another two weeks before they release the fourth beta. So again, you know that it will be kind of busy because the next few weeks, Apple will hold the event and then we will have the public release of iOS 18 to the public, but again, expect it to be somewhere around here, the 11th or the 12th should be the dates when Apple releases the fourth beta of iOS 18.1 and hopefully the other features of AI will be here like the image playground and the other features that are yet to be added to iOS 18.1. Now, yesterday, Apple also released the eighth beta of iOS 18.0. Of course, alongside with iPadOS 8th beta and watchOS as well. And this is most likely the last beta of iOS 18 before we get the RC version. Now, you can see right here, the build number for iOS 18 beta 8 is 22A5350A again another beta ending with an A, most likely indicating that this is the last release to iOS 18 before we move on to the public release. Now we have a couple of changes here on the eighth beta of iOS 18.0, and you can see right here on the spotlight search, whenever you're searching for something, for the settings app, like in this case, I can search for privacy and security. It will actually now show a description right there of what that section of the settings app contains. Also, another change is that right here on the results, you will now see the dark icon. So this on iOS 7 used to show some of them, some not. Now it seems like it, they have fixed it. And now all the time it will show the dark icons for the apps whenever you're doing a search on the spotlight. Now with beta 8, Apple has still remained with the old like UI on the phone app so when you go to your recent calls you tap on them it won't show you the contacts card but you will call back so that's of course disappointing it used to be way better with the previous betas and also on the music app we do still have the old animations so apple didn't actually add the same animations as they added on ios 18.1 on the music app and now let's talk about release date. So looking at the calendar right here, iOS 18 beta 8 was released on the 28th and we will expect the RC version to be released, of course, the same day as the Apple event for the iPhone 16. So that will be the 9th of September is the official date when Apple will hold their event. After the event, most likely we're getting the RC version of iOS 18. And then on the 16th, you can expect the public release of iOS 18. So that's basically it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did. And of course, subscribe for more. And I'll see you on the next one.